Hey Crocker, it's Jared and Curtis. Let's go over to our top story. Today is Friday, April 3rd, a gold day. Today we have started our show with an animation from Nolan. Great job. If you have an animation or video that you have created for intro, share it with Mr. Hicker and you can be on HTV. As usually, as usual, let's see how people are doing at home. Hello Crocker, it's me, Owen, for my HTV at home segment. So I decided that I would tell you guys what I was doing at home. So I go to my classes like usual, go through all the classes, and then at the end of the day, I take my dog for a run, two miles, and then I also sometimes draw, and I play on my computer once I'm done with all those things. Thank you, let's take it back to the desk. Hey Crocker, while at home, I've taken to organizing. I find it's really important to work in a clean space, and I have all this extra time. Today you see me organizing all my books that I need of, needed to get rid of. Thanks, Crocker. Hi Crocker, it's Amelia for the Gold Day HTV team. And I want to remind all staff members to send in their videos. It is so fun for students to see Crocker staff at home and talking about how they're handling the quarantine. Please shoot a video and share it with Mr. Hager. We want to see what you are doing. Thank you. Let's take it on over to Davina for In the News. Hey Crocker, it's Mention in the Views, where we talk about what people are watching and looking at on, on TV and online for entertainment. One thing we are all we are doing is making and eating good food. There are tons of great cooking and baking websites out there. Even if you don't have the supplies to bake, you can always watch some cooking shows. Some really good cooking shows to watch is Guy Ferrari and Diner Drive-Ins and Dive. That's all for me, Crocker. Let's take it back to the desk. Everybody has been inundated with a lot of emails during this remote learning. One way to limit your emails is to limit the notifications that Google Classroom gives you. Students can go into the settings of their Google Classroom, go to the hamburger icon at the top left, and click on Settings. There you can turn off all no Google, notifica uh, Google Classroom notifications. But remember to check your classroom for assignments. We are back with another weird but true segment. For today, did you know that the largest working yo-yo was 10 feet tall and weighed as much as a polar bear? Also, kissing the kissing bugs get its name because it often bites human around the mouth. That is weird but true. Let's take it on over to Nolan for birthdays. Hey, Parker, this is Nolan with your birthdays for today. Today, let's wish a happy birthday to Camilla, Madeline, and Alex. And over the break, let's wish a very happy birthday to Lucas, Quentin, Dylan, James, Yube, Corinne, Athena, Ava, Jake, and Tina. Make sure to wish them a happy birthday. Now let's send it back to the desk. The animation you saw at the beginning of the show was created and animated by Nolan. If you're bored during this distance learning program, try to spend your time either hanging out with family members, trying something fun, or learning a new skill. For example, you could uh, try to build a jigsaw puzzle, or you could learn how to play a new board game. If you really wanted to, you could try to make your own cool animation. Anyway, that was cool. Awesome, Crocker. It's Friday, and it's time for our eight Hillsboro Recreation Weekly Report. Roll the clip. What's up, Hillsboro? Mr. B here with a quick recap of our Stay Connected HREC website challenges and leaderboards. Our first challenge is our That's Amazing or That's Awesome challenge, where we're asking you to film something that you think is cool, send it to us, and we'll put it up in our gallery. Could be bottle flips, trick shots, bike tricks, dog tricks, whatever you think is cool. Take a quick video of it, send it to us, we'll put it in our gallery. Our most popular challenge has been our Lego challenge. 30 minutes on the clock, build the tallest tower you can, take a picture while you measure it, and send it in. Our current leaders are Zoya and Wars. 
from West School. As you can see, they put 30 minutes on the clock and built this very, very thin structure. Can't believe that standing. Very great job. We also had Dylan and Oliver's two South Tiny Tots build one out of Duplos that they reached 80 inches. Uh, you see the little guy there on the stepladder. That is absolutely awesome. We want to make sure that everybody who sends one in gets recognized, so we're putting them all up on the website. Alex with 59 inches, Darren and Andrew did 24 inches, and Toby and Jackson with 53 and 3 quarters inches. Great job, guys. We are still accepting submissions for our LEGO challenge, so keep those coming. Next is our cup stacking challenge put on by our PE teachers. Coach Flores is currently in the lead, but Tayden is leading all the kids. Let's watch his video. The challenge is the three by three cup stacking challenge. Three towers of three, then take them down, and then stop the time. You can find links to buy all the materials on our website. We also want to acknowledge Arjun, who submitted three games to our Scratch Arcade. If you've built a game on Scratch, just send us the link and we'll embed it into our website. We also have our own version of Flappy Bird, which we are having a high score challenge for. Max from West is currently in the lead with a high score of 37. If you think you could beat his score, just go to our website, play the game, take a screenshot of your score, and send it in to us. We are also looking for participants in our NBA 2K challenge. If you think that you have what it takes to win that, let us know. We also want to say thank you to our guest readers, Mrs. Feltz, who read Pig the Pug, and Anna, who read You Don't Want a Unicorn. We are still accepting submissions for our guest readers, so film yourself reading a story and send it to us. Thank you guys for taking a quick recap with us. Remember to check the website often to see the updated leaderboards and keep your submissions coming. Thanks guys. Take care. This is the weather report for our spring break. Over the next week, we will get some rain. This weekend, it will be raining the whole time and we'll, be able to, and we'll also start the week off on Monday. On Tuesday and Wednesday, it will be partly cloudy. On Thursday, it will be sunny. And from Friday and starting the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, it will be, it is said to be partly cloudy. At last, and lastly, on Monday, the last day of the break, it will be partly cloudy with a possibility of showers. Hi, Crocker. What you see now is an amazing time lapse from Chase Kendall's amazing art. He is a great artist, and we see as he has drawn a design in pencil, and now he is inking over the pencil lines. He then colors with his special markers, and I personally love his style. If you have any artwork that you want to share, please email to Sam Golchin and title it Remote Art. That's all from me. Have a great remote spring break. Thank you to everyone who responded to Finish That Lyric. 92% of you got it correct. Remember to keep checking your email for the next Finish That Lyric. What's going on, Crocker? Since we all have some extra time, I would recommend learning how to code. If you're just learning how to code, I would recommend Scratch. This on the screen is one of my favorite games. It's where you have four different attacks, and they do different damage and cost different amounts of energy. The goal of the game is to not run out of energy. There is a shop which allows for hundreds of different strategies to beat the game with, but there's also more, than, more to Scratch than playing games. There's also the part of the coding, coding the games. There are items in Scratch. There are sprites in Scratch, too, which are basically different objects. Each one of these objects has different lines of codes in them, and they all use different types of blocks. There are blocks that make characters move and blocks that sense things. These are all useful things when coding languages like Python and Java. Adios, Crocker. My name is George, and let's take it back to the desk. Bye. Bye, Crocker. Bye, Crocker. Have a great day. Bye, Crocker. Bye.